It's Sunday. It's eight o'clock. It's stream time. Hi folks, and welcome to Conan Exiles. How is everybody today? Oh, lots of people in the chat again. Good to see. Right, let's see. John Delay, you were the first. Good evening to you, or good afternoon, whatever whatever time of day you were in. Andy Matami, hello. Belena Tay, Rex Havoc. Uh, Bandy B, Shade, Belana Tay, Kathy Ann, hello. Uh, let's see, Robert Marix is here too. Beck the Tinkerbot is here. Good evening to you. Game Labs, how are you? Good to see y'all. William Johnson, good morning and good afternoon to one and all. Huh? It's good evening to me, <laughs> but yeah, good to see you all. Uh, let me see who else have we got. Trip FDW's here. Good evening, Trip. Grishnak's here. Hello. Etcat330. Grimdale. Big Mick. Uh, Kevin Mayers. DC Weston. Bulwark's here. John Layman's here. Reno Diedrix is here. Uh, Martin Punt is here. Uh, thanks for all your help with other Conan games. You still not found Alincia? Oh my! You just have to keep doing, keep doing the laps of the mounds of the dead, and she'll appear eventually. Uh, Raylo, good evening. Uh, Vanna, good evening. Uh, let me see. Oh, how do you pronounce that? Z Zithat Zithiat. Oh, I don't know how you pronounce that, but hopefully that was pretty close. Astrozone, uh, Dushiman, Crazy Wolf Blood. Uh, Thomas Arvet, first time catching the live stream. Well, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you along. Uh, Johnny Pankar, good evening to you. Major Dan, good evening. PG Ben, good evening. Wow. Yeah, it does take a bit to find Delincia, but yeah, she she'll appear eventually. Some people get really lucky and she'll appear like twice in one in one round. But yeah, it's that whole RNG thing. So it's there's no. A guaranteed spawn for Delincey, I'm afraid. Uh, Astrozone had a sad thing happen with Thag and Delincey yesterday. He's still in mourning. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear. Right. So, first of all, we've got another giveaway happening. So, let me kick over. So, we've got another Conan Exiles base game Steam key. So, it is for Steam. So, and you have to remember that. Sorry, sorry, console players. Uh, but it's the uh, Conan Exiles Bateman. I, I know an awful lot of you here already have the base game. But hey, you've got a friend that you're trying to get to, to play or, or or know someone who'd who'd like it, you can you can still enter. So to enter, you have to pop over to our Discord. There is a link for those who aren't there already in the in the description below. And you should once, you, once you've signed in and agreed to all the rules, you should see a giveaways channel. And in the giveaways channel, we have the giveaway running right now for the Conan XL base game. And sadly, I've only got one key to give away today, so I'm just going to leave that running until 9.30, and then we'll draw it at 9.30. So if, you, if you're in, in the chat and you enter the game, I mean, you don't have to be here until 9.30. Just whoever wins it at 9.30, I will DM you after the stream is over and send you the key. So yeah, over to our Discord, sign in, help yourself to a to a free base game giveaway on Steam. It is on Steam, so again, apologise. Oh, I need to get my chat back. I need to get my chat back. There we go. Right, oh, chat's gone flying past already. Hey, let me see, James Shukatis. Just a few lately. What armour is that? This is the, uh, what is it called? Assassin armour? So it's light armor. I, I believe it used to be all agility. It's now a mixture of agility and strength weapon damage bonus. But it, it is really cool looking. That's for sure. Naughty, good evening. Good to see you. Uh, John Lemon went to see the second June movie. It was pretty good. Ah, cool. I still haven't got to see that yet. Hopefully, maybe this week we'll get to see it. Uh, let's see, you're going to try and get Delincey on Exile Lands for your second playthrough. Oh, nice one, Beck. That the game of Kiss, Kissler's getting. That's probably not a glitch, Martin. It is just that she is a, a kind of rare spawn. You just have to keep working, working the Mounds of the Dead 
um, and every time you come back round, there's a chance that she might spawn again. There's certain areas, but yeah, keep keep at it. You'll get her. A bit. To be fair, Sumerian Berserkers are. They, I think right now they actually have the highest damage multiplier. I think Delincia has slightly more HP to start with, but hey, you can always boost the HP up as well. Uh, Stargazer's Crest, yep, yeah, that's another spawn point just to the sort of northeast of the Mounds of the Dead. And also a chance to get her in a purge, yeah. You need to go to some high level purges to get her from there, though. Hey, let's see. Finally able to watch the stream while it's live. Oh, welcome, Vanna, then. It's, if you, is this your first one? Petra NPC, howdy, good to see you. Angelo's in the house. What's going on, party people? How are you? Uh, Light, hello there. Started playing the game, but debating on getting the add-ons. What's best to get the battle pass? So it's all cosmetic stuff. Um, in in reality, that some of the DLC stuff allows you to access some stats a little bit earlier before. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically, it's it's building sets for the DLCs, building sets and armor sets. So it's just if you like the look of something, go for it. Same with the battle pass; it's it's all like placeables and um, little cosmetic type stuff so you don't need any of that to play the game all the way to the end it's just about making cooler bases and cooler armor sets and stuff like that so whatever whatever you like the look of um ronda w hello good to see you uh, work them mounds yes that's it that's it not he just have to work the mounds thomas your last name is pronounced Averett. Okay, yeah, I get you. I've read people have been mispronouncing my entire life. Yeah, I get that. I get that. My my first name in real life gets mispronounced all the time too, so don't worry about it. Um, been watching you for months now, and community seems to be... Oh, yes, it's a great... These bunch of people here, fantastic. And the people on Discord as well, absolutely fantastic. Let's see... Yeah, Berserker, highest damage. Delincia, higher base HP. Yeah, but... Yeah, and then, Valencia's not far behind on the damage, and the Berserker's not far behind on the HP, so Berserker's at least are a guaranteed spawn, so nice and easy, but I do like with Delincia, and, and I think Game Labs is the same. We, we both are big fans of Delincia. I'm he. Been watching your videos for the past few days, trying to see if you could not cut scenes so much when travelling to far-off destinations. I kind of enjoy the journey and the battles on the way. Yeah, but that that does make a, a a long and quite boring video if it's got all the all the just me riding a horse for twenty minutes across the across the map. So yeah, it's it's a difficult one. It's that that's kind of what these streams are for because there's there's no cutting in a stream. It's just it all happens live. Uh, so that that was one of the reasons for this. Right. Okay. We better get something done. So last time, if we left last time, we just got a horse um, and we got down to this, this sort of beach down here. So I made my way back along along the beach and then kind of cut through around here, battling along the way. So our XL3 is now up to level 9. But of course, we got a horse. So first of all, we need to get a stable sorted out, uh, which I think we're going to have to learn. Uh, where is that under? Is that under survival? I believe it is. There it is. Stable Master. Uh, which unlocks the Outrider journey step, but we've done it in the wrong order. But we may as well start start working on it. There it is. Outrider. So unlock Stable Master knowledge. We've done. Place a stables. Okay. Right. What do we need to make a stable? I bet you, I bet you we're going to need some shape wood. And we don't even have a carpenter's bench yet. So, companions. Stable needs 10 shaped wood, bricks and twine. Okay, so we are going to have to start off with a carpenter's bench then. Get out of there, into here. Knowledge, survival, carpenter. How have we got this far in and we haven't got a carpenter's bench yet? My screen is cut and looks funny. Oh, so it does. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a there's a resolution thing going on there somewhere. 
what's going on there then? Let me let me have a look at this. My my computer is I think I spoke about this last time. We've we've went up from 1080 to 1440p. Um, and it looks like this has gone to how do I change that? That I've got it set to Hmm, interesting. Why is that not working? Can't see the action bars. No, yeah, it's too big. Too big. Full screen. That one? Make any difference? Nope, it didn't make any difference. Properties. Eh, let me see. Why is that not working out properly? The scene. Hmm, okay. Right. That's gone. That is full screen, but it's not filling my screen for some reason. Okay, let me... Oh, wait a minute. It's not... Let me see if that's going to fix it. Nope, it's not fixing it either. Tell you what, what we'll do is we'll quickly put this back to 1920. There we go. We'll go back to 1080p right for now, just to just to get going on the on the stream, and we'll I'll fix that later on. Some setting in OBS not not working as planned. Right, uh, okay, let me get back to making one of these. So I need 250 wood and 100 stone for one of them. Uh, 250 wood. 100 stone. Right, should go back to back here. Oh, now I've lost the chat. Oh. Go back to here. Uh, let me see. Last week, found two Delincios in a single lap. Once at Stargaze, I watched another in a circle of death, I believe Anger has called it in the past. Yeah. Oh, well done. Nice one. Yeah, maybe because I'm already live, it's not letting me change it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I set the stream program to the, to that output and input, but it's obviously not working properly. So, but yeah, we'll sort that out later on. Okay, right, now we've got the carpenter's bench. We need to get some more wood in there to get that turned into... shaped wood. 13, we're going to need a bit more than that, so let's go and craft a... craft a tree? Chop a tree. Oh! Yeah, okay. It's in bites. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, let me see. Let me put that over here so I can see what's going on a bit better. Nope, nope. Over here. Nope. Make this bigger. Sorry for this, people. There we go. That's better. I can see what's going on now. Right. Chop the trees. Uh, got to go, can't watch long with head bob nausea. Oh, sorry to hear that, Rhonda. Evan Myers actually playing Minecraft. In a few years, I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> Warrior Thrall's UI is still bugged. L. Allen, good evening. Right, how much is that? That's a bunch of wood. Oh, stick that branches in there as well. Get that crafting. Right, is there 10 yet? There's 13. 
Um, what else was it? A bunch of brick and a bunch of twine. The companions, stable. So 15 brick and 10 twine. Okay. We've got that. Oh, I don't want all that, though. Of course, that, that split, accurate split, we won't be able to do that anymore in Chapter 4. That's getting changed to right-click to split it and just keep splitting it. Not We've, we've put men, plenty of mention to the devs saying, don't do that, we really need that back. But we'll see whether they can do anything, see if they can do anything for launch date. Not sure. Hopefully we'll get that back at some point. Anna's first live video in a long time. Oh, welcome, Anna. Good to see you back again. Right, uh, should be some space over here. Maybe put the stable. I always like to put the stable from the back. Like, move it down a bit. That, there we go. Right, now we need to capture a foal, but we've already captured a foal, so that's where the journey step falls over. We'll need to go and get another one. Uh, we'll also need a bit of fiber. We have fiber in here. Used all my fiber in there. There we go. Right. Put all in there, put the plant fibre in there, and it'll turn into a horse. We are going to need a saddle bench as well. I guess we have to learn that, do we? Oh, we've, got a, we've got a level. Let's go in authority. Uh, armour. Novice saddle maker for the saddler's work table. What we're we going to need to make that. Uh, it is oh, 50 shaped wood. Oh my god. 50 twine, 50 leather won't be a problem. Mm, what have we got there? So we're going, to have, maybe we're going to have pretty close to the right amount of wood. Let's just go and get some more. Some decisions that Funko make don't make sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's probably a reason for it. Well, the, the, they're talking about unifying the UI experience or the UX experience. But it shouldn't really ruin someone else's experience just to fix something like that. John Tolver, how are you? You, Staz, you're here as well. Good to see you. So sad they're removing precision slip. Yeah, it's it is sad indeed. A drink while I'm there. Hopefully we've pressured them enough that they'll put it back in again. Boy, Kurtz just stopped by to say hello. I'm heading up to the mountains for a few days. Have a good one. Oh, have a enjoy your trip, Troy. That sounds interesting. My weight limit, like, it's okay. Right, so I really want to get to level 30 today. So we can get into the Steel Age. Anybody who's new, uh, we've got a base game, Conan XL's base game Steam Key giveaway happening over on Discord. Links to the Discord down below. Sign up when you go and approve the... The server rules, all the channels will open up to you, and there's a giveaway channel. You can just click the button in there to put yourself in the draw for a free copy of Conan XL's base game. As long as you've, as long as you've clicked it, I, I don't expect you to stay here. It'll be drawn at 9.30 my time. So, like in an hour and ten minutes. Um, is, if you're not here at the time, not a problem, because I will just DM you after the after the stream and send you your key. It's a Steam key of the Conan XL's base game. 
me out, carry some of this wood for me, please. Which map do I like more? Honestly, I like Exad Lands more. Proof that Funcom doesn't care about console edition law. All the giveaways are for Steam. <laughs> well, that's true. Can't go in for it because you've already got it, Brett. Hey, if uh, that's not a stipulation, if you... Oh, we're doing the moonwalk again. If you have a friend that you would like to give them the, the game, uh, I don't have an issue with that. You don't, you don't have to use... Because I mean, a lot of people who are here will, of course, already have it. Rob Bagal Bagalios? I hope that's uh, close. You just started playing a week ago and you're loving it. Built your first homestead with all the work tables. It's starting to go out exploring. What should I... What I do as I wander out real far from the shelter. Uh, so that that's okay. You can travel. You can travel further. Um, I would suggest if you are travelling out and you're looking at a, an area that looks a bit dodgier, because obviously the further north you go, the more dangerous it'll be, is stick a bedroll down before you go in for a conflict. Um, and if anything untoward happens, at least you'll respawn at the at the the bedroll. Only been around sandstone mountains myself, but if you go climbing Troy, please stay safe. Yeah, indeed. Always stay safe. You don't have any friends. Hey, we're all friends here. Right, okay. So we should have a bunch of wood that we can get turned into... shaped wood now and we've got the 50 uh, okay so now we need 15 brick and 10 twine no am i looking at the right thing that's the stables this is the one it is 50 twine and 50 leather so i don't need anything out of there i need 50 leather out of here and 50 twine out of here uh, right, I'll just put it down on the side here. Of course, then to make a saddle, so the basic light saddle. Go for any of these. They need silk. That needs hardened steel bars. So does that. Yeah, we'll just go with the basic one for us now. So it needs 68 iron bars and 75 leather. Sixty eight of that, seventy five of that. Where about is the base this time? So our starter base is just over here. It is my favourite place to start because you've got lots of iron around here, coal up here, eh, obviously wood as well and stone, and then you've got this little camp that you can. You can plunder for some people. But where we're actually going to have our actual main base, that's... I haven't made up my mind on that yet. Uh, no, what was the... What was the other thing we needed? 20 twine. Take that in there, make the saddle craft. Michael Edwards, good to see ya. Hope you're good. Been a while since you're tuned in due to other commitments. That's not a problem, mate. Not a problem. Good to see you here today. Great strategy for early game. When in doubt, run it out. Yeah, that's it. You can pretty much... I don't want to say everything. You can run away from everything, because somebody will probably find something that you can't, but almost everything you can run away from... Um, and if you can go into deep water, then if you, to swim, then in this game, nothing, nothing in this game can swim. Even, even crocodiles can't swim, which is always something I found a bit strange. Right, so we now have our horse. 
So it is the light brown coloured horse we got today. Sparky Del Sparky, good evening sir. How are you? Right, let's stick the saddle on it. There we go. Right, what level are we at now? We're 28. Let's have a look at our journey steps. So I want to do the steel smith. Uh, how are we with the armorer stuff? Expert armorer. Craft the medium armor. Oh, we can do we can do a lot of that. So let's start working on that. Because I would like to upgrade my armor to medium as well. So craft the medium padding. Uh, only got enough for four. We need more leather. That's not a problem. We've got loads of leather. One more of them. All right. Craft a piece of medium armor. Okay. Right. So I was going to go for the Pictish. The medium Pictish. This one. The medium brave. One of them. Because this gives agility bonuses. One of them. Uh, gloves. Yes. And boots. Oh, we need more iron. And let's see with the almost start the game area so I get all my sorcery earlier. Kill the lizards in the vault for some good weapons early. And studios, good evening. How are you? Uh, Carmel name for the horse. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Check out the diagrams, recipes for those. Extra NPC, so what, what was that? What am I missing? You can unlock a sandstorm breathing mask or you can loot tents, which provides a shelter. Yeah. So, uh, the sandstorm breathing mask is, I think, at level 30. Because you need steel to, to use it. There it is there. Yeah, level 30. But if you're out and about, you can find and get caught in the sandstorm. So there's no sandstorm on this map, but there is on XL lands. We we have the maelstrom instead. Um, you can like hide in nooks and crannies around rocks to try and uh, let me see where is it. So up up beside your health bar, I've got a little little house symbol that currently says twenty percent. That's your shelter. I've got twenty percent shelter. Uh, but if you find an area you can get inside it or like somebody says a tent or some cave or something like that you can get shelter from or as long as you've got a bit of you've got your pickaxe with you you've got enough time to make one foundation three walls a door and a roof or you could actually do it with four walls because you can destroy them as well just make yourself a little one by one cube to shelter in if you if you need to so you, anywhere you're out you can just go and Hit a, hit a tree to get a little bit of wood, hit some rocks, get some stone, make yourself a quick one-by-one one shelter. Once the sand storm's passed, you can just destroy it again, and, and on you go. But once you get to level 30, you'll be able to get a sandstorm mask. And you'll be able to breathe and survive that, no problem. You can actually heal through it. It's not, it's not the end of the world if you get one. Right. How are we getting on? Have we crafted? Oh, we still need more piece of the armor take the bits across and I'll change into Pictish armor and all these pieces give agility weapon damage for going for my agility build should be 3% but our, our little armorer has put it up to 4 right I have a box to put spear bits in What's next? Harvest thick hide from an animal. Okay, so this is going to kind of kill two birds with one stone because I need to go and get brimstone and we pass by some links 
that is good. Um, does Maelstrom still damage buildings? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it just generates the demons, which will obviously attack you. Um, can rough wraps heal through that sandstorm? Can't remember. I can't, I can't remember either. I can't say I've tried to be honest. But you can. Um, you're not good under pressure. So I mean, you can have a practice. I mean, you just need to have your your construction hammer. Get a little bit of stone and wood, and then you can just F five go building pieces, sandstone block. Put a one one block down. Build some woods. You get you get a fair bit of time from when you, the wind starts. And you can see that the sandstorm's coming before it actually arrives and does you damage. Right, what is the one that we'll need brimstone from? Is that steel smith? Yes. Let's start working on that so we get to the right stages. Access or place a fireball cauldron. Knowledge, survival, fireball cauldron. Uh, and then, what do we need for that? Yes, that's under smithing. No, I saw it there. It was under alchemy. There it is. 50 iron bars, 20 twine. Fifty. We ended up doing a lot of stuff around the base so far. What time is it? We're half an hour in and we haven't left the base yet. And uh, that can go right there. Craft tar in a tannery. Well, we've done that already. Gather brimstone. Right. We're going to leave the base now. Drop that. Oh, when I come back from the base, because uh, we got all that raw pork, I built a thrall pot. This raw pot is, uh, is not great for feeding, like... I used to have a, a line down here of all the thralls that it was actually feeding, but it doesn't have that anymore. Because uh, I don't think it properly feeds people anymore. It doesn't seem to work. Whenever I tried it in the old purges and stuff, but it acts as it prolongs. Let me see. Expires in 23 minutes. Put it in here. Expires in 3 hours 50 minutes. So it acts as like an early game fridge. So it's just keeping my f my food from expiring quite so quickly. Oh, are you asking where this armor's from? Yeah, it's the Savage Savage Frontier. It's the medium set from the Savage Frontier set. I do think it looks really cool. The the wolf head and the bones and stuff. Looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, Pictish Brave it's called, yeah. The medium set, there's there's a, a light set and a heavy set as well. Right, you're following me, you've got food. But we can take the horse as well, can we? Get some levels on the horse. Oh, the horse will need some... The horse will need some food. Uh, bark, I don't know where we get vines from here. But we can easily get some bark. Trees up there. I think we were discussing this on Game Lab stream on Friday. It's like I'm not really that bothered about what food I give them for their stats. All I really want them to do is carry me about and uh, get as much HP. And they get so much HP these days that that's uh, it's uh, it's not such a big deal. That oh, you've respawned already. Cha cha cha. But yeah, we've got to head up the river. We'll go up the river and up the river. There's both lynxes that we can get thick high to do that journey step, and then we'll go round the corner of the river, and there are brimstone nodes around there too. Let me put it back to here, so we're on the right journey step. Get the thick hide. Take him out, please.
Let's get some more bark for food. Not sure the agility development is really worth it. Turning radius seems good anyway. Yeah, yeah. You get probably get more from the 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 saddle sets than you would from getting the agility, and then things like uh, stamina makes no difference at all because they get they have six hundred stamina no matter what. Uh, strength is no use because they don't do any fighting. So yeah, I, I'm not really that fussed about their stats other than the fact that I just want them to have some food so if they do get hit they've got something to eat and heal back up again with. Uh, where are you? I guess it's probably good because all these foods, these are foods they will eat and as they go up they'll give more heals per second. So Azura's Glory will give them the most heals per second. Leavening Agent will be the next one down, Hops down, Sp Shade Spice Highland Berries, like you're going to be feeding that to a, a horse. Grey Flower Lupin, oh, is that not, is that not the plants that are right beside our base? Maybe loads of them, Desert Berries, but yeah, that'll do, we won't worry too much about it. Okay. Right, we've got another one over here. Oh, the problem with the short sword is I can't fight from horseback. Oops. How do you? Good to see you, sir. Still at the in-laws. Just wanted to pop in, head in and say, have a good in. Have a great stream. Layered anger. Take it steady. Thank you very much, how do you? Enjoy your time at the in-laws? Maybe? Maybe? Uh, is that a UI mod? Yeah, that's Hosaf's custom UI mod. But, like I say, I've said many times, I only really use one mod, which is Hosaf, and all it is is literally editing the UI. Uh, it does show that I've also got Pippi that I just use for managing my my server. And keeping, keeping track of who's online and who's abandoned and whatnot. But yeah, Hosaf UI mod gives you that graphic up at the top, slightly different UI, and it also shows your damage numbers and stuff like that. I'll repeat again for anybody who's just joined us that there is a Conan XL's base game giveaway going on on the Discord server at the moment. Link to the Discord is down below. Oh. Oh. No, we're going back to base. We're going back to base. I have something really important to show you that I forgot to show you. I'm heading back to base as fast as I can. And the fact that I just got round the corner and saw that small camp might give you a little bit of a clue what... For the seasoned SIPTA players, what I might be going back to show you. Have I seen your base, Brett? No, I haven't yet, no. Uh, I haven't had that much time to play on the server. I, I don't have that much time to play on the server. So basically most of the time I spend on the server is just checking out like players who haven't signed in for a while and uh, clear them clear them off. So if, if you're active, you'll be well up the list and I, I won't have any issues with you whatsoever. Right, so, a couple of chests with different materials in it, but in this last chest, we have various items that we picked up. And one of the items we picked up is the Grave Digger. So on my trip last week when we were down at the wreck of the Sea Girl, we got a... a What's it called? A flotsam box? Jetsam? Bo flotsam box, yeah. Uh, and then we went off and did the bird. And on one I was running back, I picked up another one. Got back to the base and opened the two boxes. And not only did we get a grave digger in the second box, which we'll be able to use in that camp, which is what reminded me. Uh, we've got a table leg, which is the two-handed mace that lo literally looks like a, a table leg. A practice sword... Uh, I think the rest is just this normal stuff. But yeah, we got the Gravedigger, and we got it pretty quickly. Watsum and Jetsum is an old musical memory. <laughs> okay, so we've got that, so we'll be able to use that now for... ...digging up the graves to see what lovely loot we get. Yeah, lucky. So, when I played the single game of this, I did a, a small series that never really got finished. Of playing Septa, I must have opened up about 40 boxes before I got my first. T 
to the point that I was beginning to think that it had been removed from the game. It was taken out so many boxes. But uh, yeah, second box. Well, the second box I opened, because I, I got one on the way there and I got one on the way back, so I don't know. I didn't open them until I got back. I'm not sure which one it was. As After it was pointed out that the one next to my base is always paint. Or uh, dyes, sorry, not paint. Right, we've got a Mitra dude here. Mitra High Priest. Take you out. Arrows. Uh, there should be somebody else in here. That is the grave there. An archer. Take you out. Uh, oh, he had another Falcata on him. We'll take that. Is it the one handed? I think. I think the table leg is two hand. Oh, um, it's back at base now. But I'll check it out. Remind me to check it out when we get back. I thought it was the two hander. Take that. Like me with this truncheon, got it. second try. And I saw that. I, I, I did rewatch your stream yesterday. Oh, that's the end of the maelstrom. Yeah. Marky Del Sparky and I were out in the pub on Friday night with some some folk from work. So, I just logged into to your stream to say hello and to hit the like button for you. But uh, yeah, we were in the pub and I couldn't hear anything, so. I rewatched it all yesterday. Let's take that. I'm not caring about the rest of the stuff. I'll take that. I think we've looked in them all now of it. Yeah. I'll take that. Okay. Right. Now. Do I have to have it equipped? I can't remember. No, you don't. Found some remains and it was some medium gauntlets. Oh, wow. Well, that's a bit rubbish. Hmm, I guess we'll keep them. We might dismantle them or something later on. Right, onwards. Need to go and find that lynx. A few more crocs to get past first. Yeah, wait a minute. Let's see, is this... Is this loop in here? Let me get my sickle. Grey flower loop in. So this is the stuff we want. This is the higher health stuff. Uh, is that at all? Over here. It was a good night indeed. It was indeed. Even though Mark left early. Lightweight. Two of us were the last man standing. We actually were the last people in the pub when it shut. But yeah, good fun. Good night. Uh, you can get hard and steel weapons from the wreck of the Seagirl. Three different spots. Ooh, well, we'll definitely have to visit there at some point in time. Carlos Romero, I'm allowed to make an off-topic comment. It concerns health, and it's just one thing I'd like to ask first. Of course you can. Of course you can. There is no such thing as a topic in our chat. As long as you're nice. And it's also a dying, I forgot it's but if it's also spice. We're a rubber. <laughs> right, let's get some more of this. That actually works out quite handy. There's plenty of this around the base and it's such a Where was it? Ah, okay, it's only the sixth best, but hey, it's better than I wonder what one you'll eat if we put them both in your... Right, are we getting close to where... Missed. That is me it missed, not it. I 
can't remember how far you've got to go to get the lynxes to appear. It's a ard 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 wolf. Yeah, basically the Sipta version of the hyena. Lots of iron. Table leg is two-handed. You just check. Oh, thanks, Bulwark. Thank you very much. There is a one-handed one as well, but I can't remember. Is it the chair leg is the one-handed? Something like that? Oh, this is the junction. Well, we maybe actually got to go past the junction then in order to get... Because we want to go that way. We want to hit a turn of right to go and get the brimstone. Let's just run up this way a bit. There's one there. I see it. Barstool. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> works. What he said. Or some YouTuber named Anger. There is a one-handed. There is indeed. Oh, we're getting close to the, the wolf den. Ow. Don't do that to me. He got to level... No, he's still level 9. Right, skinning knife. And when we skin these guys, we should get thick hide. There we go. Harvest thick hide. Tan thick hide into thick leather. Okay. Right, you can have that and that. Right, now we're going to change that journey over to... Ooh, the tinkerer. That's something else we're going to have to do. Because we're going to need oil. Uh, what was the one we were doing? Steel smith. That one. Gather brimstone. I was busy wrecking dreams on Battlefield 2042. <laughs> The other day I read an article about a popular HPV human papillovirus vaccine being linked to four different autoimmune disorders. Okay, I don't understand any of that, so I'm not going to comment on any of that. Oh, I hear more. Here we go. But all I would say is, if you read it on the internet, don't believe it. Oh, Kathy, I was getting worried because Angelo was too too quiet. Right, somewhere around here should be some lumps of brimstone. More crocs. That was an article pre-reviewed, and what is the source material? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of absolute weirdos on the internet, so you definitely can't trust anything that has been said on the internet without doing some backup. Especially if it's a YouTube channel by some person called Angar. I just wouldn't believe anything they said. Go and find somebody else that'll give you the real reason. Here we go. Yellow stuff. I found it. I hear battle music, but I'm not sure where it's coming from. Oh, there's a croc. Right. Let's get these. Drink time? No, oh, no. Drink is okay. Food time, though. Thank you. Alright, I don't want to get too close because the Stygian camp is just a little bit further along this river. Oh, is this one of Game Lab's horrendous jokes? How hot does it get in the corner of a room? My thoughts on the specific stack splitting remove, I am very much against it. Hey Sabbatical, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, and I have voiced my displeasure to the devs on multiple occasions now. So I, I hope that they are going to 
And I'm, I'm happy with the whole faster split stacking by right click to half a stack. I'm happy for them to do that, but don't take away the 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 precise part where you can either use the slider or type it in. Right, I think there is maybe more further on, but I think that's probably it for now. How much did we get? 434, that'll do for us now. Definitely don't take medical advice from me. Uh, that is 100% sure. At your displeasure also. Yes, man. I I mentioned it wasn't just me, but, but the community. Well, let's, let's head back. Uh, okay, so how hot does it get in the corner of a room? About 90 degrees. Da -dum Game labs, you need to go at the corner. That is terrible. <laughs> Major Dad thought he was bad at bad jokes. <laughs> Don't plan on activating Avatar. Just finished Journey Step, but I picked up a named set priest in Sepa Maru. He will work for my final Journey Step. Uh, yes, I believe so. I believe so. Not mine, heard it on a TV program. Oh, me. <laughs> Follower leveled up. Well, the horse is up to level 5 already. Right, is this... These things are going to have respawned now. Oh, it's getting, getting night time. Take it out. Take it out. <laughs> Down it goes. hardly see anything. It's under the water. There we go. Come on, night time. Pass quicker. Oh, something else is coming. Oh, there it is. Get out from it, thank you. Oh, there's another one. God, there's just crocs everywhere here. Still not leveled up to level 10 yet. Right, we'll pop up into this camp. I'm guessing that. The level of the treasure that you get from those graves is based on the level of the camp. So there's a potentially always just going to be poor treasure in here. Uh, oh, it has, it has respawned. Uh, yeah, let me see... The allergies came from peanut oil being used as an adjuvant. Uh, thanks, now I need a cloth to wipe the tea off your monitor. <laughs> uh, what did we get there? A medium cap. Okay, so we're just getting medium armor from, from that one. And now we're overburdened. There. Can't wait to see the fatalities. Yeah, the fatalities are cool. It, it was funny that, like, when the beta first came out, it was like you were actively going for the fatalities to see them. And then once you've kind of seen them, it's like, okay, right, that's that kind of done now. But you then just play the game as normal, and then a fatality will just appear at random, and you go, oh, oh that was cool.
Really hope they make it so you can change the clothing on your crafter friends in the future. I honestly believe that is the long... Since they did it with the barkeep, which is obviously the first new crafter that's come along for a while, and uh, using the new, like, ghost system where you can do them, I, I believe that... Possibly, I, I I don't know if it'll be as quick as the next age, but p potentially in the next age, the that'll be one of the things that we should be getting. I I hope. Right, get out of the water. There we go. Still not level ten. Well, you still got thirty thousand to go. Oh, we're doing a sideways moonwalk now. Mark Santos, hello, hello Canada, hello from Scotland, good to see ya. Right, craft steel fire, so oh, we're going to need our, we're going to need our brimstone off of the horse. Another reminder, we've got a giveaway going on in Discord at the moment for the Conan Exiles base game Steam Key. So you get the description, the link in the description below, and you can go over there and hit the button in the giveaways channel to get win a copy of Conan Exiles base game Steam Key. So it is a Steam giveaway. Whoa, we've crafted steel fire. What do we need to do? Craft a steel bar next. We need quite a lot of steel fire from that. Have we picked any up? Mm, no. Right. Chuck that in there. Yeah, we'll have to take some of the iron out so it actually goes and crafts it. Temporarily put the iron here. Here's the table leg. Let's just give a quick look. Yeah, so two-handed armor based on the leg, broken leg of a table. It would probably hurt quite a lot, to be fair. Eh, well, it's almost broken though. Fifty-one damage, forty-two percent armor pen. So yeah, not too bad at all. Oh, got a, a few Canadians. Anyone been able to work out the respawn timers for the jailer cages? Online, you rarely find any, even when no one's online. Oh, no. Uh, right, drop you back in there. Give me my sword back. Right, the problem is now we're going to need a lot of steel fire. Level, we're 17% through level 29. Uh, okay, so we should have a steel bar now. We do. Now we need to unlock the steel tools. So survival steel tools, we need to be level 30. So we can't do that quite yet. Put our steel bars in here. That in there. Put that in there, and put that in there. Right, now we can swap over to the Expert Armourer Journey Step. Tan hide into thick leather. Who's got the hide? Has the horse got that? Yep. Obviously we've got thick leather already. It's just picking it up enough it is. Craft a heavy padding. We've made heavy armor already, so let's see if we actually need to do that. Put 
Good to go again. Need to feed your better three quarter. She's much better than me. Okay, Major Dan. Thanks for popping by. Good to see you. And you put a blunted fitting on a table leg. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. Right. Uh, craft a piece of heavy armor. Can I just take one of these already crafted pieces? You can. And then wear a piece of heavy armor. So if I just be do that. Expert armorer complete. What do we get for that? The advanced armor repair kit. Okay. Uh, next, next we want the dismantler. There it is, dismantler. We need to learn the grinder for that. Survival. Where's the grinder? There it is. Let me chuck. Chuck that in there. Probably never going to use them, but we'll keep them anyway. Oh, we're out of we're out of bark for our tannery. Quickly grab some of that. Steel smith is the one we really want because we get the perfected steel weapons at the end of that. But we do need to be level 30 first. And we're 21% through level 29. Bark is on the horse, but that's its food. Oh no, yeah, because it's not using food anymore. Thank you. Thank you. I was thinking, I'm not stealing his food, but we're not using that for food anymore. There we go. Off it goes. You can have your hat back now. Forge, how are you? Good to see you. Need to do all the blacksmithing ones as soon as you can. The savings on points and mats is fantastic. It sure is. It sure is. And at level 30, you also get the improved fireball cauldron, which means that you only need one tar to make a steel fire, not two. Probably prioritizing the bark when it's eating. Maybe. I'm not sure how that works. If you give it the better food, whether it'll eat the better food. Not sure. But yeah, that solves the problem. It just will give it the, the looping. Right, okay. How many steel bars have we got now? Still not enough. Right, tell you what, we'll go. We'll go, we'll go a killing. Let's go kill some more of the crocs round about here. Yep. Take you out. Don't get much XP from the humans up in the camp, so... Get more XP from the crocs. Are you level 10 yet? Yep, you're, you're still level 9. I checked that before, didn't I? Uh, what do I think about the new Purge? Yeah, it, it's not really for me. I, I don't find it that enjoyable. I, I do like the fact that it is now completely optional and, and properly optional without having to disable in admin settings and stuff like that. Obviously you have to call it in and you can call in whatever level you want. Um, my big issue with it is that because it's just the humans, you, you don't really get the rewards that I think you should be getting it. Um, with YouTube new layer, you have to remove the chat to get to the thumbs up. YouTube's new layout, you have to remove chat. Oh, okay. Depending on what you're watching on, I guess. 
I, I I have it running on my iPad as a, just to make sure everything's okay, and I've got the chat going down the the side and the the buttons along the bottom. But then if I full screen, you get nothing. So I guess it depends on what device you're watching it on. Uh, you missed out on the Age of Sorcery. I didn't start playing till the Age of War. Oh, okay. I I preferred Age of Sorcery to Age of War. There were there were more. More interesting things happen, shall we say. Of course, Age of War is all about the Purge revamp. So yeah, the, the, there's no creep. The, the issue with the Purge before was it just happened whenever it wanted it you, to happen. It, you didn't really have any control over it. Um, and also, the kind of Purge you got was pretty much based on where your base was. So quite often they will get a bit samey. You get much, much the same purges, but at least there was an option of getting different purges. It wasn't 100% going to be the same thing. Whereas this time it is always the same thing. It is always humans coming at you. And then I guess it's just a, a case of the items you get from the reward boxes are not the best and you're just looking for the the, the people from the cages trying to get the, the good ones but there is lots of people I mean I do he is the purge master he just he loves the purges he does loads of purges and lots of videos on his purges but yeah in chapter four there's going to be the thieves that'll be coming at you, who will be invisible, using like an invisibility spell. Why are you always going after him? Um, and you won't see them, they'll just do that shimmering thing, a bit, a bit, I don't know, predator-esque. Go past you and then break through your doors, or pick the locks, I suppose it is, going through your doors. Uh, oh, wood. And then there is the golem purges with the, the explosive pots and they take a different route to your door than what the, the other ones do uh, and will be trying to blow up your buildings. And then of course there's the storm callers that rain down star metal, yeah. And uh, those star metal nodes can absolutely destroy your followers and your, your base. So you have to, like, as quickly as you can get out to this. He's in, like, one of the transportery stone kind of things. So you, you see it spawn in before he gets there. And you have to, like, watch for him to appear and take him down as quickly as possible. What are we at now? We're still at 42%. I should have taken the horse, of course, so I could get back. Do like the bartender? Yep, certainly adds a whole new vibe to your base, having your your bar and various people appearing. And of course, in chapter four, there'll be a new person appearing in your bar. It'll give you a bit of a quest type thing to follow. For those that hasn't seen it, Sa's in the house. Good evening, Sa, or good morning to you, Sa. How are you? And the Zool as well. Hello to you. Right, I hear the new music. Here we go. An underwater croc. Oh, and a hard wolf. Bartender is a nice feature. They need to add crafters and patrons that show up. Yeah, I I'm sure that will come eventually. I guess they were testing out a new system with the barkeep, and uh, I I'm I, I don't I'm hasten to say I don't have anything from Funcom to say otherwise, but I I just believe that that is the case that you won't just slot a, a you won't carry a thrall around in your backpack and stick them in the in the thrall spot anymore. They'll use that ghost system that they're using in the tavern. I presume that in the next age they're going to work on crafter 
roll usage so there can be a sign like a bar tip. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm not sure whether it'll be as soon as the next age, but uh, I think it's certainly in the future, but hopefully in the next age. Because then it means you can place your crafters in the world and then change their outfits first and then you can pick them up and then slot them into the into the ghost image for them to actually become the crafter. Game Labs will be doing some purges and some new stuff on the update day in his Oh yeah, so choose Tuesday the second of April, I believe, is launch day. And Game Labs will be streaming live that night. And testing out the new features, because of course the console players haven't had access to any beta. Always a risk doing a stream on launch day, because who knows what mess the game will come out in. I mean, everything in the beta has been absolutely perfect, there's been no issues whatsoever. But then we found in the last chapter, the beta was fine, uh, or mostly fine anyway, and uh, when launch day came, obviously we had nothing but nothing but issues with lots of stuff. But fingers crossed. Every What's going on there? Why is it sitting down with hardly any health? It's been fighting. Down you go. 84% now. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Athwin Hasua. Hey, Angar. Loves your videos. Thank you very much. Good to see you here. Like, you'd like to stream the game on your channel, but too many minors watch it, and it's a mature, certainly is a mature game for adults only. Yes. Which is why I was amazing when, amazed that so many people complained about the sacrifices. It's like, well, there are plenty of other things that happen in this game with decapitations and bodies being chopped in half. But yeah, it's very much a mature game and it's not designed for, for kids. Any problems, you can raise them with the console if I get contact with Funcom. Yep. Yeah. Eh. Do. There's another croc. Oh, it's a, it's a big croc. Eh, daggers. Oh, he's, he's coping. No problem. Oh, he's level 10 now. What's, what bonuses did he get? There we go, level 30. Right, what did you get? Oh, Relentless, plus 5 to Vitality. So that's that's okay, it's not too bad. Oh, there's another one. Can't hit you. There we go. Uh, let's chop you up and see if we get anything off you. Demon blood, fangs, bone. Okay, right, let's get back to base as fast as we can. A friend described it as Minecraft for adults. Well, yeah, well, I suppose, I, I guess all survival games or survival building games are could be cl classed as that. Played yesterday and lost like 10 friends and remember your second and third streams. Yeah, so it's, especially Sipta, it's a tough game at the start. And you really do have to take, get the, get the best follower you can get early on. I'll go and get more brimstone while we're here. I think I'll go and get more brimstone while we're here. But then level them up. And that was the issue that I wasn't doing, is I wasn't taking the time... Mainly because it was on stream and I just kind of, kind of wanted to get, get cracking and do stuff. But, Sipta is tough. 
And if you don't, if you don't level them up, they die, and you have to get another one, as was happened on on those streams. Well, at least this guy, I mean, he's, this guy's survived to level ten now, so superb. Dorkalicious Fiber Arts, good evening, and gaming with Jen. Good evening to you too. Great to see you both. For those who don't know, Gaming with Jen is Game Lab's partner. Wife? Partner? I think it's wife, is it? Uh, what's growling at me? You are... Game Lab's better half. That's what we'll say. That's what we'll say. He's not going to, he's not going to disagree with that, is he? Oh, reality, Andy's here as well. Good to see you. Uh, I must have missed you earlier on. Oh, has that hyena thing rolled down the, the cliff? Rough. Right, has the... Ooh. It looks like the brimstone hasn't... So better half, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Thor's trying to use authority and thralls recently on the server. Died three times on Friday, twice to the arena champion, and once to the glitched undead dragon in the war maker. Well, so it's it's easy enough to die to the arena champion, yep. Yeah. I think when... Uh, did I fight her? I must have fight her on stream here and used the whole knock her on her butt tactic. There's no more brimstone spawned yet. That's a shame. Um, yeah, so the three light attacks, or was it two light attacks, two heavy attacks, and the last one knocks her on her butt. So she's totally staggered. By the time she gets back up, you've got your stamina fully regened, and you can just do it again. And uh, it's... Uh, it, it, made it look easy but all it takes is just one little mistake and she gets the hits into you and if she gets a combo on you you're dead and like up until this chapter i would i would never when she got nerfed i would never take a thrall up against the arena champion before i always left them at the door and did it myself and then once you've killed her you can go and get your because there's nothing worse than taking a, a fully leveled, a level 20 Delincia Snow Hunter in there and the arena champion just annihilates her in no time at all. But, she's got less H, she still does as much damage, but she's got a lot less HP now. So it's, it's doable now, especially if you turn off Irritate. And hopefully you get more of the more of the aggro on you, and then she can still do some hitting from behind or from the side, as long as she doesn't get in your way and block you. Because then if you if you get blocked and miss out that that combo, then it could be a, could be bad news. In fact, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I prefer two thralls or one. So, up until recently, I would have definitely said two. I I would have preferred the two. Um, but in the last few months, one thrall with a plus twenty on everything, especially if they're buffed up with the pork and the grey lotus potions, I I love that. It's just fantastic. They do so much damage. And of course, they also get affected by your armor. If you've got armor that gives them a bonus, that uh, also affects them. Whereas if you're running two, that doesn't do anything. But I used to run... I would run two. I would have one with a fast one-handed mace that will do... Um, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Sunder. Sunder damage. And the other one would normally run with a, like a two-handed great sword. 
because they, they they could do lots of damage but also of the AoE stuff. You can buff too also. Yeah, you can get the food buffs, yeah, but you can't get the armor buffs. Momentum is the best one. If you can get a hold of momentum, that is definitely the best. The best weapon at this moment in time. There's a fair chance that might change, but at this moment in time, that is the best one to give them. Right. We've got a hundred steel fire there. Uh, chuck it in there. Get more steel going. Uh, let me see... Demon blood in there. Keep a hold of that bones and stuff for later on. Right, journey step. So the expert armor's done. Seal smith. Unlock steel tools. Knowledge. Survival. Steel tools. Uh, craft a steel tool. Well, there's only one steel tool to craft. And that is the steel pick. I need leather for that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, don't expect that to get changed because it doesn't affect PvP. Nobody uses a mace in PvE because the animation is too slow. Okay, yep. Wreck can run two accounts, so that's four thralls. Oofed. Angelo's still hunting momentum. Oh, Steel Smith is complete. Is it? How did that get complete? Craft a steel weapon. I didn't craft a steel weapon. Bloodletter short sword. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. I'm not going to complain. Beck's going to go back to Sipta eventually. Yeah. Right. So a steel pick. Get rid of the iron one. Uh, so now we can craft. Oh, do you know what? So that Relic Hunter short sword, I can't remember that whether that was a battle pass or a bizarre item. But that's hardened steel level, and I managed to pick up some hardened steel level out of chest. So for four shape wood, I could craft the Relic Hunter short sword with 47 damage. But that's an that's an epic one. The normal one is steel. And does 45, and the epic one is hard and steel, but does 47. Only two different. Interesting. The Falcata is a steel... Oh, so it's classed... Because I've got picked up the Falcata off of one of the mobs, it's classing that as a me having a steel weapon. So, okay. That kind of makes sense. Counts as one. Fair enough. One friend doing sunder and another doing gouging damage while I bravely fire poison gas arrows from a distance is how Evan handles things, okay? Volcatas are also good for dismantling and getting steel early on. It was a battle pass item, okay. Uh, right, so... Let's look at the perfected... Not showing me if it's perf Oh, I have to claim the... Claim the reward first, don't I? There isn't a short sword in that list, I don't think. But there is daggers. Steel longsword, greatsword, the mace. That's 32 damage. Steel poniards. Spear and the warhammer. So, I do like the battle axe and I do like the mace because of the amount of armor pen it does mm hmm 
That's 32 damage. What is your weapon? It is a Falcata. It does 30, but hardly any armor pen. Probably do that. Oh, I need 30 steel bars, and I've only got three. There we go. And then, if I get the... Did I not tell you to make a whole bunch of shape wood? Oops. I need some shape wood, and we'll make that weapon for me. Right, you have... You have that. I'll take that off of you and put it over here. Right, it's four minutes to go until the draw, so once again we've got a X, uh, not an Xbox, what am I saying? We've got a Steam key for the Conan XL's base game being given away on our Discord right now. <laughs> it has hacks, yeah. Uh, so if you go over to our um, Discord, there's a link in the description of this, this stream right now, uh, sign in to approve the the. the rules and whatnot there's a giveaways channel and in there you can click the button to say enter the draw or a base game conan xl's steam key kindly donated by funcom and that gets drawn in three minutes so you've got three minutes to get your name in the list it doesn't matter whether you've already got the game itself if you've got a friend that you could give it to the friend who to play with you that's okay uh, i don't mind that at all but yeah giveaway happening on the discord all right now Three minutes to go. Okay, right. What I need to do now is do the whole torturer. Oh, I've got I've got so much stuff to do. I need the torturer's bench. The survival. Scroll down to wheel of wheel of friendship, where you get the torturer's work table. That's going to need more steel bars as well, is it? Uh, companions. Torturers work deal. Needs another 25 steel bars and 50 shaped wood. How are you getting on? Oh, it's getting there. That's going to take a wee while. Uh, I'm also going to need the tinkerer's bench to get the mod on it. The friend tinkler's bench, yep. Uh, got really on your, lucky on your new server. My first crafting thrall I found was a bladesmith. Oh, nice one. Uh, Xbox play here. Anyone know if they get rid of the too close to another thrall annoyance? So that is a setting that you can set on the server. Because the, the single player game um, is... It's a much lower value, but there is a, you'd have to Google it, but there, the online servers, the, that value is a lot higher, but you can change the, you can change the, the setting on online servers to, so you can put other thralls closer together. Hostile takeover bench. Right, uh, what we're we going to do, what we're we going to do, the Tinkerer journey. Nah, we're not going to do it, bother with the Tinkerer journey right now. It's a quite a long and convoluted one. We've got nine bars in there. We've got 30 bars in there. Uh, what did we need again? Companions. Okay, so it's 50 and 25 twine. Fifty shape wood is what we need. We're at forty-six. We're almost there. Okay, that's half past. Let's have a look at the giveaway. Four seconds left. Here we go. Who's gonna get it? And the winner is. Dead Dude 72. 
Congratulations, Dead Dude 72. As mentioned before, I will DM you after the stream and I'll send you over the key. So, congratulations, you are the winner. Thrall exclusion radius. Is that, is that what it is? Thank you, Game Labs. Right, 50 of them. Uh, can we stick it? Stick it here. Right, now we should be able to make the iron truncheon. And weirdly, after going all the way through to steel and needing steel bars to make the bench, we can only make an iron truncheon, which needs iron bars, leather, and branches. Uh, get more leather from over here. And some iron bars from here. Uh, 35, can't remember how much it needs. You can have that in there. That, that, that. Let me put steel fire in there, get some more steel bars crafted. Make two of them, and we're going to need... Oh, we've got the whip. Oh, but that needs layered silk. So that was another battle pass thing. A, a much higher durability binding. This one just needs three bars. There we go. But we won't need these anymore, but we'll stick them in there anyway. Stick the falcata in here. Okay. Got our truncheons. Right. Now we're going to go on an adventure. Right, let's get off of you. Those are food. Our food's okay. Our weapons are okay. We're going to try and go up a level and get the next level of thrall. Make a blunted fit in. Yeah, I've got... I don't have the stuff to make the, the tinkler's bench and stuff like that yet. We'll work on that next time. Got to craft my sword. I did. You're, you're right. Good point, but we're we're going taming. Right, the gate's still open because I activated the lever up there. We're going to go and investigate the Stygian camp. Whoop. Oh. Come on. Round the corner. Come on. Oh, really? Come on. Something for the do help indeed, yeah. But I don't have I don't have oil yet, I don't have the tinkerer's bench and all the stuff it involves that, so there's a lot of steps involved in that. And I just want to get out. We should have enough the the, the level between going up to the iron truncheon compared to the, the wooden one is is huge so we should have enough to knock out these stygian guys take you. Uh, what was that oh where, there's that dog where did you come from okay i'm getting i'm getting down to help Okay. Right, so we're not too far away. We're taking a new friend to the job center, yes. So there's a little camp around this corner here, and it should have one crafter, one Stygian crafter, and one Stygian either archer or fighter. This camp here. Right, so I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to leave you here as well actually uh, i'm gonna put that in there so there's a little crafter just sitting down just where my dot is there and then there's a either a fighter or a archer on the little dock okay so 
We're going to try and pull just one at a time, so we'll hopefully get the crafter first. Here he comes. And then depending on what they are, we'll either kill them or tame them. So cook three, not that interested. In fact, what I could do is let's do some testing. Ah yes, we can we can knock these guys out. Oh. No problem, as long as we put our shield up. Oh, no, 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 don't go after him. Yeah, so we can knock them out fine enough. That's fine. Uh, you're a cook three, I'm not that interested in you. Right, now, are you an archer or are you a fighter? And are you level three? Oh, he's a fighter because he's got a pokey stick. Which is a shame because I really don't like... Oh, he's a fighter too. Oh, okay. We're going to kill you then. Stuck in the animation there. There he goes. Ooh, Stygian Vader helmet. Heavy armor, strength damage, boots and chest. And we're over encumbered, war paint and advanced repair kit. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, just having a quick vape. Give them buttons a little tickle, people. Oh, yes. Smash the, the like button gently, as I like to say. Halkonix. Greetings. This came by to thank you for a great beginner series. Helps a lot. I do have one question. Should I start single player or official online server? I'm more of a PvP type of person. Um, I would say single player for that. The problem with, especially with official servers, is that all the good locations will already be taken. So if you play single player, you've got the whole map to yourself. Yeah, they get very cluttered with basically, uh, yeah. Yeah, put it on the thrall, yep. So, so he's got Silent Legion, which is 385 with Strength Weapon. That's 200. I've got Silent Legion boots as well, but the helmet is 114 compared to 86. So, what a mismatch of armor you're going to be wearing. But, yeah, the chest isn't quite as good. And neither are the boots. Here, carry that. Right, let's um right, let's just no, let's let's take you following and let's get you let's just run out of render range and come back and see if we can get a better one. It came out. For your new mace. There you go. Uh, take him out as well. You the wrong two point. things you don't like about the game. Too many crafting benches and the horse is hard to control. I find the horse really easy to control. Are you playing on 
a controller or keyboard. I see people playing on controllers, I guess, because you have to hold the little thumbstick. The, you tend to find them getting a bit random all over the place. But on the keyboard, it's just forward and backwards with a little bit of side to side, so... Here we go. Right, let's head back. You are playing on keyboard, okay. I, f I find the horse easy to control and I do prefer the horse because you can jump whereas the rhino and the new camel neither of them can jump so getting stuck on stop sprinting on the horse yeah so if you're sprinting the horse will be slow to, like a real horse it will slowly turn if you're at speed but all you have to do is take your finger off the W key and it'll turn on a sixpence then carry on forward again But yeah, well, pros and cons to the benches. I do kind of like the the different benches. You're, if you go to Ark and you pretty much make everything either in the smithy or the fabricator, then there's there's not much for your base to, to need, um, especially since Ark has very little in the way of decoration as well. Right, you stand there and you stand there. And let's go and see what we can get this time. Yeah. Oh. Roar. Can't quite make out what weapon. It looks like a, a bow on his back there. Oh, this is even worse. as a cook one. Oh, not, not doing blocking very well, though, eh? Oh, just as I went to swipe. Oh. <laughs> Did he shout that just as he died? Or was that somebody else? Must have been him. Workbenches are Decor and Conan, yeah, but there's, there's not that many of them. Uh, horses do feel squishy on a controller. Yeah, I, I do see people working with... Uh, I do see working with people working with controllers, and they're finding it difficult to like stay in a straight line. But yeah, I mean, W to go straight ahead on the horse, and then uh, A and D to do the turning. And if you need to turn fast, you just lift your finger off the W key, and it'll it'll turn quicker. Right, let's take a wee drink. Let's see. Hopefully, we we'll get a level three this time. Oh, level one archer. What's going on? In fact, let's let's just lag it. We'll get him to respawn. Don't have to fight him. Time is it's quarter two. I would like to get a level three guy before the end of the stream. Thank you for the sub. Right, I wonder if that's is that far enough away. Most of the time when you jump on a camel it won't move anymore. Yeah, I don't think the camels can jump. Yep. Respawned. Another one of the advantages of single player over servers is that you run out of render range like that and uh, everything will respawn whereas on a server you're gonna have to wait 15 20 minutes for these guys to to respawn right who are you going to be this time 
Another Cook 3. We're fairly going for the Cooks today. Oh, I'm not locked on. Ooh. Ooh, that was sore. Right, come on. Let's play the game properly. Oh, don't, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she's just a way to bleed out as well. Oh, no. Died again. To a kook. How embarrassing. Right. I'll have to run back. How embarrassing. A <laughs> close one, yeah. At least you got her. Yeah, except by the time I get back, it'll have respawned because I'm out of range. And all the crocs along here will have respawned too. You run the same speed in water or on dry land. So in shallow water like this, you're running at the same speed as on land. But if you uh, if you're in deep water, then of course you'll have to swim. Cooks give you bleed damage. Yeah. Right, here they are. Feel my pain. Yeah, so there's something, somebody over there has respawned. Take all. Get our last heal up done. Right, let's try that again. You look like somebody different. Armorer 3. We'll take you. Oh, wow. Half my health through my block. Don't go after them, though. Aye, right, go after the horse, that's fine. You picked the wrong fight. You picked the wrong fight. Oh no, he's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her. How do you get him to. Oh, too late. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Oh well. That is a good find. It was a good find. In fact, I'll give him a truncheon just in case that happens again. Right, you heal up. Have a truncheon. E then stop. Yeah, I was pushing the wrong button. I was pushing R. That looks like an archer. Archer 3, though. Oh, is he stuck and he can't turn around? Oh, what a shame. Oh, what a terrible shame. Oh, well, never mind. Right. Grab you.
You farm craters from River Watch Keep. Can't find an alchemist there. So I don't know about whether you get art or alchemist from there, but I know a guaranteed alchemist because I've met them many times, and that's on. Is it there? Is that the? Yeah, this this station here. That's where you can get the guaranteed, um, a cursed berserker, and as you approach. Uh, heading towards the jailer, there is always an alchemist standing on the outside. Yeah, I think, uh, like, I think I built my taming center here, and as you come in from this side, there, the first person you meet is almost always no, it, it is a hundred percent an accursed alchemist, and uh, a fair chance to get a level three as well. It can hurt. Yeah, you can't. It's. Accursed people, so it's a uh, high level people. But you can get that one guy, he's on the outside all by himself, so you can you can pick him off. There's probably better places to get alchemists, but that's one place I know that's a guaranteed alchemist. Right. Jump. Uh, stop. Have a quick look in that chest. Uh, silver, gold, 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 alchemical base, layered fur. Which fur? Okay, cool. I think it was that chest I got my hardened steel bars in. Right, so although this guy is an archer. He should still have a lot better HP and damage than that level 3 guy there, because the Stygian faction is like the next faction higher up. Right. Get him crafting. Let's drop that stuff in there. I should have... Uh, gold, silver, silver bars, gold dust, which fire powder in there as well. May as well put the alchemical base in there. Right, we're going to make that short sword, weren't we? Relic hunter. Oh, we needed a couple of bits of shaped wood. Relic Hunter Short Sword. That one. Maybe you could use add a primitive blunderbuss that uses witchfire powder. Ooh. I'm not sure if there are any firearms in the Conan lore. Don't think so. Cursed are the Sipta versions of the Sumerians. That is correct. So you get a cursed berserkers, a cursed Delincias. Or is it Delincia the Accursed or something like that? I'm level 30. I can now upgrade my benches. You're right. Yep. Yeah. So the especially the blacksmith bench and the fireball cauldron. I guess the armor's bench as well. We can, we can, I can get the I can get the materials ready to do all that. So at the beginning of next stream, we can just go upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Get upgraded forges, tannery. Uh, there isn't a oh well. There's the tanner's table you get, you get from the journey step, isn't there? Yeah, but it's this massive four square thing, which we can certainly do. It doesn't really give us much help other than the fact it's really lots more inventory space. Uh, but yeah. We're doing okay now. We should be okay with that guy. My weapon being crafted. I've got it. Let's drop that in here and repair it just for good measure. Give you your weapon back. Take that armor and slowly put it in my box over here. 
Kathy Owen, is that you off? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Great, great stuff. Uh, right, let's chuck that in there. And then that's that full, so we can't do any more. But yeah, we're five minutes short now, so I think we're we've probably we're probably at a good place we can stop. We're we need we need to go and get some more stuff done. And like I say, I'll I'll get stuff done off camera ready for next week so we can do the upgrade and then this guy will be ready and we can take but he is ready. Let's just place him down just to see what he's like. Got that wonderful hairstyle. So he starts off with 1152. So much more HP. Let's see what his stats are. The 12 in agility. Oh, he's got a 90% growth rate in vitality, which is brilliant. Really poor growth rates in both strength and agility, though. And a decent grit. So his armor and his health will be great. But uh, it's going to st he's going to struggle a bit with his strength and his agility. But He'll be he'll be okay. He'll be better than what we've got. So it's a next the next level up. But yeah, I think we'll call it there. That's probably a good place to stop. So thank you once again, one and all, every one of you who've joined us this evening. Thanks all for the comments and the chats and the, the subs. Uh, have a great week. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>